So Mark, I've brought up before how much I love your stories and I really want to talk about that time um, with that co-angler on Pickwick Lake. It was raining and it was the funniest story you've ever told me. Co-angler on Pickwick Lake and it was raining. A couple of years ago. So that must have been when we were, we still had co-anglers. Oh, when I went to Bay Springs. Oh my God. All right. Well, the soft guy. It, that's, oh, all right. It's Throwback Thursday. We'll use this as our Throwback Thursday topic and we'll do a little co-angler story for you. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to want to stick around for this one. You'll like this one. <laughs> Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. So you want to hear a co-angler story, the one about Pickwick Lake. And yes. when I went to Bay Springs in the rain yep. with the co-angler that only had one lung. That's the one. All right. We're going to tell the, the co-angler story, the co-angler who had one lung. Before we do that, I want to remind everybody... Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, guys. We definitely would appreciate that. We appreciate everybody who is subscribing to the channel. We thank you guys for tuning in every day. That really means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. And sending those comments. The comments, again, if you can send us ideas for things that you'd like us to talk about during the show, we'd really appreciate that because our goal is to try and make content that is interesting for you guys. So if you can help us out with that, we'd really appreciate that as well. All right. So the one lunged co-angler story. On to the story. <laughs> this story is like an entire day. I mean, uh, we started out and the weather report was that it was going to be a rainy, cold day on Pickwick. And sure enough, if I don't meet my co-angler at the dock, you know, it's still dark out. And the first thing I notice is he doesn't have any rain gear. Now, it's not raining at the time, but the forecast was rain during, throughout the day. And I'm like, you know, you got your rain gear? He's like, nah, it's, I'm going to be fine. I'm like, okay. One of the first things he does, though, Megan, is he tells me that, do you remember? I, I can't remember. He just yeah, had... He just had surgery and he only had one lung. One lung. That's, and he tells me, uh, you know, I'm less worried about the rain gear and more worried about the fact what kind of, what kind of ride are we going to be making because I only got one lung. And that's always... You know, nice to hear at <laughs> six in the morning when you're about to make a big long run on Pickwick. But fortunately, I was going to Bay Springs. So even though it was going to be a long run, it was a calm run. We were running down the the shipping canal um, on Pickwick. So we just had to get around the big curve. And then once we did that, we got into some pretty flat water. Long run, but nice and calm. So he was a little relieved with that, and quite honestly, so was I. <laughs> so we got out, and we got going, and we made that long run, and everything went fine, and we were fishing, and things were going pretty well. Um, although it did start to rain, and when it started to rain, he got wet, and that's all there was to it, because he didn't have the rain gear. But it was one of those days where it rained a little and then it didn't rain and then it rained a little. And then sure enough, the sun came out and it got pretty nice. But by the time that happened, he was pretty soaked. Well, I was pretty focused on my fishing and I was just fishing up at the front of the boat and doing my thing. And all of a sudden I turned around and I'm telling you, my boat looked like grandma's laundry day. I mean, I had clothes hanging all over. I had shirts hanging over my windshield. I had 
socks hanging over the gunnels of my of my side of my boat. There was there was something, some piece of clothing that was draped over the motor of the back of my boat. There were clothes all over the place. He had pretty much stripped down of his clothes down to just t-shirt and pants. And he had every, he was fishing barefoot and had his socks hanging over the gunnels, trying to dry him out and things like that. It, it, it didn't bother me, but I got a little worried because at one point I was like thinking to myself, it's going to take this guy 10 minutes to fold up all his laundry, you know, when we get ready to move to another spot. And I, I told him that as much. I said, listen, I got no problem with the way you got things going on back there. And when I say back there, he had it coming up all the way to the front deck. He was using everything, um, back deck, motor, windshield, all the way up to the front deck. But again, didn't really bother me. And he was a nice guy and he was wet. And so he was drying his clothes out. So it, it was fine, but I did say, hey, you know, I'm going to give you like a five minute notice before we move so that you can kind of pack up your laundry and and get ready to go before we we move to another spot. And sure enough, I gave him the notice. He got his stuff packed up and we moved to another spot. And the day went on about like this. Every time we would get to a fishing area, he would take some articles of wet clothing and try and dry them out in the sun as we kept fishing. Well, we got our day done and we were ready to make our long run back to the ramp in time to make check-in. And so the last time I gave him the notice, he got everything packed up and we made our run back. And we're cruising down the channel and it turned out to be a pretty nice day by the end of the day. And so we're cruising down, you know, going 70 mile an hour down the channel and we're flying. And, you know, I'm just kind of paying attention to where we're going, looking at my watch, making sure that we're going to get there on time. And all of a sudden I look over to my left and I'll be darned if he's not like this it, with his socks over both hands like this, airing out his socks 70 mile an hour, cruising down the channel, just getting those socks aired out in the wind as we drive back to weigh in. And <laughs> Megan, I'm telling you, it had to be a double take kind of thing where where I was just like, I looked over and then just couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then pretty much just decided that I was going to look forward and just, just worry about where I was driving to instead of what was going on next to me. And the, the, having co-anglers can, there's always something interesting about having co-anglers and it yeah. was definitely an interesting day. Um, <laughs> Sounds like it. But I was thankful that, I was thankful that we made it back. We had a good day. We both caught fish and he survived. Yeah, yeah, he, he was point. able to breathe the and, whole day. And he, and he made it back. So uh, that that's today's edition of Throwback Thursday. I love it. <laughs> There'll probably be more co-angler stories to come, guys. Hope so. See you again tomorrow. Good night.